10. Fellow Solutions here are in the diaspora. Happy New Year to you. Let us have confidence and trust in ourselves and our ability as a people. Let us be positive, disciplined, and move forward with pride and dignity. 9. At the end of December, right, we had a change. 14,000 lights had been changed already. Now with the transition to, to, to LEDs, right? You, you have a situation where you get a lot of savings. When you project the figures there, we are seeing, we are seeing something like almost $4.5 million in savings already. Eight. What is important for us is to continue to build resilience in the sector and to ensure that our farmers understand the importance of adopting to the impacts of climate change by practicing new methods, new approaches, especially what we call climate smart agriculture. Seven. During the year 2023, the health system managed many health programs and diseases. This ranged from new, less virulent variants of COVID-19 to our regular infectious diseases and chronic non-communicable diseases. The year 2023 saw a drastic reduction in the number of confirmed cases of COVID-19. Six, the savvy surveillance is aimed at early detection of any adverse events that may occur following immunization. A PAHO consultant visited St. Lucia to facilitate an savvy and health surveillance system, rapid assessment exercise, and the development of a surveillance manual through a one-day critical pathways workshop for officials and staff of the Ministry of Health, Wellness and Elderly Affairs. One of the areas which I think will definitely help is for us to work on the confidence of the public, on parents, in our capacity to monitor the effects, side effects, or anything related to the vaccines that may come up. Five. Peter and Company Distribution is the latest business to provide support to the Ministry of Health, Wellness, and Elderly Affairs through a generous donation of beep hand sanitizers. This donation is not merely an act of corporate philanthropy. It is a symbol of our enduring dedication to the health and wellness of the people we serve. We really do want to register our appreciation to Peter and Company for committing to supporting the health sector. Four. I can reduce the subsidies on LPG. Of course we can do it. But we believe that single mothers in particular and lower income households, we can't allow, allow them to pay $70 for a tank at 20 pounds in because we can't. Three. The refurbished building will be the temporary home of the music, visual, and theatrical arts, as well as other vocations such as sewing at the Sufret Comprehensive. The structure was rehabilitated at a cost of some 200,000 EC dollars by Hippolyte's construction funded through the help of the St. Lucia Social Development Fund, the SSDF, and other stakeholders within the Sufra community. We take pride at SCSS in fulfilling our mission of ensuring the full development of each child through the collaborative effort of all stakeholders. The extension of your institution is the start of many more interventions to enable you to meet this strategic and colossal task at hand. Two. This year will be a year of tremendous progress. Um, as you will be aware, we were the government which completed the bridge in Canaries. We are now about to do so in Ansari, um, beginning this week with the demolition of the, of the residences. It took some time to get to this point because we had to satisfactorily relocate the affected members. So the, all the five residences have been replaced satisfactorily. And hopefully this week, uh, commencing this morning, the process towards demolition will commence. One. Tourism officials are forecasting huge developments for the sector in 2024 while reflecting on numbers which made 2023 a formidable year. By the end of November, arrivals from the U.S. was already 8% higher than the figure recorded in 2019, which was our highest on record. And year-end figures expected to be on par with that of 2022, which in fact was the, the highest since it took over 2019. 